This happened a few years ago. At the time, I was working a temp worker at a parcel processing factory. But as a result of the company losing out to the foreign rival, our factory got downsized, and us temp workers ended up losing our jobs. Could it be they laid me off right away because of my ears? I've actually been hard of hearing since birth. I'm able to work without any problems as long as I was wearing a hearing aid. But from the perspective of my superiors, there might have been something about that fact that made it difficult to use me. It's frustrating, but I have no choice but to accept it. This was my reality. The temp agency I was registered with replied, saying that there wasn't anywhere that they could place me right away. Anyways, I need to find my next job. But right when I was thinking that I have to make ends meet through the part-time jobs, I signed up with Uber Eats, which is really popular nowadays. The thing that attracted me was that I'd be able to work during the time I was job hunting. I quickly downloaded the app and registered. I also received a delivery partner exclusive bag, and then my preparations were complete. I got a request right away and started working immediately. I would deliver the gigs whenever I had some free time for about a month without any issues. And I also got some repeat customers. At first, I was wondering how it end up going, but this might actually be surprisingly nice. But just when I thought that I was getting a hang of it, a problem arose. On that day, I was just heading to a regular customer who had delivered to lots of times before. I'd accepted his lunch pento and was speeding along on my bike. Hey! Not knowing, it just called me out to me. I stopped my bike and was looking around. You over there on the bike, take those earbuds off. It's dangerous. I realized that a young officer was pushing his bike my way. You, you mean me? Yeah, that's right. These, these. It's dangerous to ride your bike with earbuds in. You won't be able to hear your surroundings. Hey, no. Uh, these are hearing aids. That's how I replied to him while showing off how I was wearing my hearing aids so they could get a good look at them. The officer seemed to be shaken for a second there. No, those are earbuds. No matter how you cut it, I've never seen hearing aids that tiny before. You shouldn't be like that. Heaving a sigh, I did an online search and pulled up information on the latest hearing aids. How about this? They're hearing aids from this manufacturer. Did this clear to your doubts? Can I go now? Confident that I wasn't at fault, I prepared to leave. But the officer, no. But take those off, since someone might get the wrong idea. Isn't it possible that someone sees those and becomes uneasy because they mistook them for earbuds? It, but that's. It's not like I'm completely unable to hear without them. But in the end, don't hear an ace just assist with hearing. You can still hear with them off, right? But even if you say that, I still need them. Just when I was at a loss, I heard someone calling out, "Ah, so there you were. Ah, you're the usual. Sorry for the delivery being so late. Since I made it all the way to an intersection that was close to the delivery location, the guy was supposed to be delivering was to show up. You always showed up on time, so I thought something was strange. This something happened, and then I explained the situation." It's misleading, right? Isn't it troubling that there are so many people like her around? The officer started saying a bunch of stuff like he was trying to get the man to agree with him, but my regular customer responded thusly, "Would you be willing to take the responsibility if an accident happens because you force her to take them off?" Eh? Officer, isn't what you're saying to this woman the same as telling someone with a poor eyesight, "Take off your glasses"? N n no, aren't these and that completely different? They are not different at all. And besides, wouldn't it be considered blackmail if you force her to take them off? Blackmail? Wait, who even are you? This doesn't have anything to do with you, does it? I requested a delivery from her, and I work at a law firm, and I'm firmly opposed to police officers making unlawful requests. Unlawful? Isn't that taking things too far? And just like that, my regular customer started arguing with the officer, with me as the cause. 
just when I was filled with the feelings of regret and confusion as to how to resolve the situation, another officer suddenly approached on his bicycle. What's going on here? It seems like the officer who arrived later was the previous one senior, and the young officer began explaining the situation. What I do with both of them ended up against me, and I don't want to bother my regular either. But those worries were groundless. Bastard, what the hell are you saying? After the younger officer scolding, our sincerest apologize, the senior officer gave a deep bow. My old mother was called out regarding her hearing aids in the past, and when she followed orders and took them off, she ended up getting into an accident. Is that right? This guy is new to the field, and he doesn't have much experience. It's just that a bicycle pedestrian collision just happened in this area, so I think he just got swept up in this feeling of wanting to stop accidents before they happen. I'll be sure to give him plenty of guidance, so would you mind forgiving this incident? After hearing this senior's apology, the younger officer also seemed to have realized that his actions were excessive, and he apologized, saying, I'm so sorry for all the trouble that my mistake caused to you. Well, as long as you understand, but that's not really for me to say. But if you do understand that, it's fine with me. Please continue to work hard without losing your way in the future. And so, the two officers saw this off while apologizing, sorry for bothering you, over and over again. And finally, I reached my regular customer. The banter was a little cold, but I was able to deliver it safely. It's good that an understanding officer showed up, but there are weird ones that arrive sometimes. Give me a call if anything happens, alright? Yes, thank you so much. I do think that they can be somewhat misleading, and there might be some people who falsely swear earbuds while claiming that they actually hearing aids. I wish I could do something to help not just other people with hearing problems, but anyone else who was in trouble. But before that, I need to do my best to find a job. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.